What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to tell you what Brad Holmes' plan is. It's crystal clear what we're doing, um, and it's great, and it's working so far. We'll see if he sticks to it and sticks to the plan. I saw an interview with Sheila, um, with Brad, and with Dan that have just, they keep saying we're going to, we have a plan. We're going to keep sticking to it. So I'll tell you what that plan is. It's crystal clear what they're doing, and then I'll let you know what we're going to do the rest of free agency and then into the draft. So let's look at what uh, Brad Holmes is doing as he tries to rebuild this team. So if we look at it here, um, let, let me pull it up. First, I want to look at just our depth chart. Now, this is loose. I mean, right, we, we, we're still adding pieces. But you look at offense. I don't want to say offense is set, but we could take the field right now and, and be. I'd be very happy with this with our three receivers here that look good. Hawkinson, offensive line, Ragnow, Decker, all healthy. Panay Sewell in year two. I mean, Offense looks good. So let's look at defense and what we're doing. Defense, another story. The starters, there's a couple starters that I like. Not many of the backups that I like. So the depth piece is not there. But we have a base. We have guys that are a base. So you look at it and you think, okay, we need to add some guys here. Like who can we add in free agency or in the free agency period? Let's get a guy, right? Well, if you look at the free agents best available, it's pretty clear what the pattern is look at some of these best available they're old or expensive and usually both now the name is there bobby wagner clowny gilmore i mean tyron matthew odell beckham these all sound like you know antonio brown i mean geez i'm getting old because i remember when these guys just like were rookies now they're basically out of the league because they're expensive they're 29 30 31 32 and, the, and they want to deal because of their name and what they've done in the past. Hey, they maybe they deserve it, but not from the Lions. Brad Holmes is just sitting, waiting, and and you look at what, what his plan is, and he, he doesn't talk about free agency much, but what does he do? He raves about player development. He loves bringing in someone from the draft, uh, an undrafted free agent, um, you know, kind of Charles Harris where things aren't going well in his last gig or whatever and develop them into something. So the, here's, here's an article from M live about what Brad Holmes had to say about player development. He said at you know, first he's talking about St. Brown or, or the article's talking about St. Brown, how he just you know was on a tear the last six games of the season caught 560 or 560 yards. And he just goes on to say he, he is who he thought he was going to be, right? Like Brad Holmes knew what he was doing, wanted to draft this guy, got him. He's exactly what he wanted. So he says right down here that what, what he loves is he's just his work ethic and that he's a pros pros. And that's just the way he's wired. So the plan is to bring in, and they're not kidding when they say this gritty, hard nosed guys that are just professionals because we've seen that Dan Campbell's going to leave you alone. He's going to treat you well. It's up to you to take care of your body and, you know, all those things that, hey, he's not going to be on you about that. He's not going to drive you crazy. And and this is what they want. So they're, we have some holes still on defense. We're not going to go get after these high-priced free agents. And then you look at who we have in the draft, what we, what our picks, and it's, it's clear that <laughs> – our strategy is to build through the draft because we want to build something that's sustainable <coughs> in long term. A, a free agent is not sustainable. It's nothing that you can actually grow with because you are spending too much money on a player that's getting older. It's a big name, but nothing that you want. So when you look at what we're going to do through the rest of free agency <clears throat> is be very strategic if it fits, if he's a guy that fits our culture, fit, you know, we keep saying culture, but I think it's actually real this time. Fits our culture, fits what we're trying to do, then he's somebody we could bring in. But if he's not, then we're not going to do it because we're going to draft smart. We've got a lot of draft picks, and Brad Holmes can't wait to get into this draft because we've seen it now. Yes, this draft doesn't have the quarterbacks and they get all the you know, they get all the the attention but it's so deep in so many different areas. So Brad Holmes is going to love whoever we pick in the fifth round. And he's going to truly believe that he can get on the field, help us develop him, that we have the coaches to do it. So look for us to be patient here the rest of the way in free agency. And then for, 
for the draft, we're going to pick the best available. We're going to, he's going to knock that out of the park. And then he's going to toss that over to Dan, Dan and, and staff to develop them. And we've got, like we've seen, we've got the offense. Defense has some depth depth pieces if we add in the explosive players from the draft. So, hey, hope you've enjoyed this video. Excited to see what the Lions do next. But it should be pretty quiet for the next couple of weeks until we hit the draft and then just see we've got five picks within the top 100. So that's going to be huge. So hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you on the next one.